Hello and welcome. I'm Tani, and today I'm leading you in a Power Vinyasa class. As always, I encourage you to take any modifications that you might need. Always, always make the class your own. And if you have selected this power class, I'm going to assume that you have a pretty regular yoga practice and are very familiar with the basic flows and postures. So get whatever it is you need and let's get started. We're going to begin our class on our backs with knees bent. Softly close your eyes, place the hands on the belly. Inhale and exhale. Deep breath in and deep breath out. May this class bring you whatever it is that you're needing today. And I invite you to set a personal intention for your practice, for your time on the mat. All intentions are welcome. Extend the left leg out to the mat, pull the right knee in towards the chest and begin to draw some circles with the knee. Switching direction. Then pulling that knee down towards the pit of the arm. Flex the left foot and press through the heel. Switching sides, right leg to the mat, left knee in. Draw those circles as we loosen up the hip joint. Switching direction. Then drawing the knee down towards the chest, flexing the right foot, extend through the leg. Full body stretch, arms over the head, point the toes again, deep breath in. Ah, deep breath out, bringing the knees into the chest. Lift the shoulders up off the mat, come into a nice tight ball like you're trying to draw the forehead to the knees. Feel those belly muscles engage. Keeping that engagement, begin to rock forward and back. We're gonna do three rocks and then come up and step or float to downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, begin to pedal out the feet, lengthening through all the back body. Then deeply bend both knees, lengthen the spine, press the chest back towards those thighs. And then begin to straighten the legs, coming into downward facing dog. Lifting the right leg up, extend the leg up high, and then step the foot to the outside of the right hand, dropping the back knee. Nice wide lunge, take that right arm up and twist. Coming down and stepping back to downward facing dog. Extending the left leg up, one leg dog. Bringing the foot down and wide, wide low lunge, back knee finds the mat, lengthen, and then twist, left arm up. Hand to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Begin to walk the feet forward. Coming into ragdoll pose, curling the elbows, relaxing the top of the head towards the floor. You can remain still or sway. Always welcome to keep those knees bent as we begin to just warm the back of the legs, beginning to slightly stretch into the hamstrings. Finding stillness here in the center. Release any tension in the head and the neck. Hands to the shins, gaze forward, half lift, forward fold. 
Inhale, rise up, high mountain pose. Bringing the hands to the heart center, beginning our sun salutation series. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, half lift and fold. Stepping back to high plank, shoulders over wrist. Shifting forward, low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhaling, looking forward, step or float, feet forward. Lengthen the spine, half lift and fold. Inhale, rise up, high mountain. Hands to heart center, somasta tihi. Inhale, high mountain. Forward fold. Half lift and fold. Plank pose, high plank. Shifting forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, down dog. Take three long deep breaths. Inhaling, feet to hands. Lengthen and fold. Inhale, rising up. Hands to heart center. Last time, inhale. Forward fold. Half lift, lengthen and fold. Inhale, plank pose. Shift forward, chaturanga, elbows in. Upward facing dog, hips and knees off the mat, down dog. Looking forward, feet to hands. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. Sun salutation B. Inhale, sit back, chair. Forward fold. Half lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Down dog. Right leg lifts, step it forward, back heel finds the mat. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, squaring the hips, front knee over ankle. Hands to the mat, stepping back, flowing through the half series vinyasa, or you can take this out and go to down dog. Left leg lifts, step forward. Warrior one, right hip pressing forward, rolling to the outer edge of the back foot. Taking the hands down, stepping back, choosing to hold or to flow. Again, at least three deep breaths. Building heat in your body. Look forward, step or float, and fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. Hands to heart, samasta tihi. Again, sit back, chair, utkatasana. Forward fold. Half lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, down dog. One leg dog, right foot up. Step forward, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Flowing. Left leg up. Step forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Down dog and breathe. Mm -hmm. 
Move forward to high plank pose. Shoulders over wrist, eyes gazing forward. Flex your right foot, lift it off the mat. Lift up for one leg dog, hip stay square. Come forward into that high plank, leg lifted. One leg dog. Two more times, inhale forward. Exhale, lift. Last one. Warrior one, stepping that foot forward and find your pose. Taking the hands behind the back, binding the hands, humble warrior, bow down to the inside of the knee. Let the top of the head drop down. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Lean forward into that diagonal position. Shift the weight, warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Squaring your hips. Warrior lunge, keep that back heel lifted. Shoulders right over the hips, back leg strong. Bringing the hands to the heart, lean forward. Twisting prayer, elbow to the outside of the knee. Or you can always take left hand down, right up if that's better for you. Turn your gaze down to the foot. Step the back foot forward, twisting chair. Untwist, chair pose, extend the arms, Utkatasana. Inhale to a back bend, open up. Swan dive, fold forward. Half lift, Chaturanga. Upward facing and down. Take some breaths here, check in. Moving forward to high plank. Lift the left leg off the mat, toes point down, hips square. Feel how strong your core is. Lift to one leg dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lift. Two more times, high plank. One leg dog. Keep the glute engaged, belly lifting. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Binding the hands or grabbing the elbows. Humble warrior. Rising up, warrior one. Lean forward into that diagonal as you shift your weight to warrior three. Step back, warrior lunge, back heel lifted. Hands to heart, again, find that diagonal position. Squeeze the belly muscles, twisting prayer. Turning the gaze down to the foot. Big step forward, twisting chair. Knees together, hips level. Chair pose. Inhale up to that back bend. Swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, Ardva. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing, downward. Check in and breathe. Always welcome to hit that pause button or take a child's pose. 
lifting the right leg, step the foot forward. Warrior one. Interlacing the hands, humble warrior. Inhale up, warrior three. Crescent lunge, maybe adding a back bend. Twisting prayer. Back foot steps forward, twisting chair. Inhale up, swan dive, fold forward. Half lift, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward. Left leg lifts, warrior one. Binding the hands, create openness in the body, fold forward, humble warrior. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Hinge forward, lift, warrior three. You are strong. Stepping back, crescent lunge, maybe adding that back bend. And then twisting prayer. Whoops, lost my balance. <laughs> Turning your gaze down, twisting chair. Big step. Inhale, rise. Let's arrive in mountain pose. Take a few breaths. Hands to heart center. Sink down into chair pose. Hands to heart. So I'm gonna turn and face you for this. Breathe. Twist over to the right twisting chair. You are welcome to stay right here for the next five breaths or if side crows in your practice continue to gaze forward create that shelf on the back arm hold for five four three two one chair pose rise up hands to heart you're doing great. You're always welcome to hit that pause button. Maybe use a block where needed. Twist to the left, twisting chair. Choose to stay, or maybe you fly inside crow. Wherever you're at, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your heels, chair pose, reach the arms up. Inhale, come up and mountain pose, Tadasana. Let's balance a little more. So we're gonna do standing staff pose. Find balance on the left foot. Extend the right leg out in front. Arms up, pulse, lift the leg, five, four, three, two, hold. Right into eagle pose, that leg is high, wrap it around. Your left, bend into that standing knee, lifting the elbows. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Trying the other side, balancing on the right, lift the left leg up, right into standing staff. Pulse the leg for five, four, three, two, hold. Eagle pose, wrap it over, left arm underneath. Standing leg is bent. Lift those elbows, expand the back. Mountain Pose, Tadasana. Flowing, inhale, reach. Forward fold. Half lift, Chaturanga. 
upward facing dog, down dog. Moving forward into plank pose, lower all the way down to the mat. Sweeping the arms to the sides, lift into locust. Resting down. Eyes forward, lift into locus, or maybe bow pose. Coming back to the mat, child's pose. Knees close together, sweep the arms to the sides, lower and rest. Downward facing dog. Step or float the feet forward and have a seat on your mat. We're gonna find boat pose, finding the sits bones, good posture. Feel strong as you lift. As you inhale, go to low boat, boat, float down to your back, lift back up. Inhale, extend, exhale, lift. Three more times, inhale and exhale. Last time. Come on down to the mat, press into bridge pose. Walk your shoulders together. Finding the hands if that's available to you. Release from the pose. Bring your knees over the hips. Interlace the hands behind the head. Lift the shoulders up. We're gonna maintain this lifted position as we bicycle for 20. Let's go. One, two. Four, three, two, one. Bridge pose, press it up. Hips come down, legs lift, shoulders lift, reach your arms forward, scissor your legs for 20. One, two, Low back into the mat, 10, 9, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. One more bridge pose. Lift up. Release knees to chest. Lift the forehead up towards those knees into that tight ball. Begin to rock forward and back. We've got three rocks and then we're just gonna have a seat. Come up, have a seat into double pigeon. Right leg on bottom, stacking your shins, flexing both feet, stacking ankles and knees. For me, this pose is pretty intense. If this is fine for you, go ahead and lean forward, making it uh, more sensation in the pose. Great stretch here for our hips. Switching sides, left leg on bottom, stack ankle and knees. You're looking for a triangle where your shins are the base of the triangle. So you want them straight across. Again, if you have space, lean forward. If not, stay up.
coming out of the pose, we're gonna move into frog pose. So great stretch for your hips. <clears throat> You're gonna come onto your knees, begin to widen your knees. Your ankles line up with the knees. You find that sensation. <clears throat> it's a great place for a block as well. If you wanna make this more intense, send the hips back. If you need to release sensation, come forward. Practice that extra long exhale. Let go of any tension or area of tightness that you might be feeling. Good, carefully come forward, draw the ankles in, knees together. Have a seat on your mat, extending the legs out in front of you. Moving into seated fold, reach up, hinge forward from the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. Begin to roll down, nice and slow and controlled. Knees come to the chest. Let's bring our arms out wide, drop both knees over to the right into your supine twist. Moving to the left side. To your back for happy baby. Lift ankles over knees. Gently pull down. Pull your entire spine into the mat. The soles of the feet together, release down for reclining butterfly pose. Again, gently close your eyes, hands on your midsection, and breathe. Moving into our final resting pose of Shavasana, extending the legs out, arms to your sides. Begin to move into stillness, quieting both the body and the mind. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Begin to awaken your body gently with small movements. And bending your knees, rolling to your side. Taking a moment here in this position. 
setting your intention for the rest of the day, telling yourself good job for showing up and doing something great for your mind, body, and soul, and always, always acknowledging what you're grateful for today. And helping yourself up to have a seat on your mat. Reaching the arms up, bringing the hands to our hearts in a prayer position. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for class. Have a blessed day.